Hi, this is Ricky, and I am testing out the Follow Me feature with the Leechy app with a Phantom Standard, um, the Phantom 3 Standard. So I went in the parking lot this morning um, using the Leechy app. I was able to select myself and walk around. It actually did very, very well um, as long as I wasn't walking where the parking lot lines are. It would lose me. Um, you can see here where the, um, I guess the little selection box would get larger as it would get more and more confused. It's about 8 in the morning. Um, here I am trying to figure out how to make it orbit myself. Um, do that neat little, I don't know, cinematic effect where I am stationary in the middle and the quad is going around me in circles. Um, here I'm trying to figure it out. Um, I tried a point of, of interest with with the circle, but that wasn't doing it. Um, I'd never done this before, so I, I'm looking. So I go back to the track, and um, I'm recording my screen also. But I didn't notice um, that right below the follow me button was an orbit button. So I'm gonna walk farther away from some buildings, and you see because the um, parking lot lines behind me aren't, I guess it's getting confused so it, it, it gets larger and larger. Here I'm going to walk farther away, going to try to keep myself in the middle and um, you know the quad did relatively perfect. A lot of times I'm here I'm reselecting myself to make that selection arrow a little bit smaller and um, just walking down the road the quad is maintaining the altitude and it's keeping me in the center. Um, one other thing it does that I didn't realize is that it adjusts the pitch gimbal. So once I get out here a little bit, I think I'm away from some buildings, I'm going to attempt to do that orbit again. And, and by this time, I've noticed that it's the button that's right below the follow me button. So once I turn that off, I click that little orbit button and it says, hey, do you want to set up the orbit? I'm like, all right. But nothing happened because I didn't realize I needed to go into the settings and um, pick how fast it was going to orbit. If you see there, the uh, orbiting speed is zero meters per second. So I bump it up to four meters per second. I thought it was four miles per hour. That's why it zips around. So now here I am trying to figure out how to get off of this and back to the tracking menu. So I click on that. That doesn't work. Honestly, I don't remember what I did. But I selected myself. I clicked the orbit and I hit OK. And then now the quad is orbiting around myself. I think it did a really good job while it was orbiting around me. It maintained its altitude, um, it kept me in the center, and on the bottom right you can see how it's um, just flying around. You know, it's got a line relative to where home is. Um, it automatically adjusted the pitch. It kind of went a little bit over me then. And then as soon as I get done with this, I click the little stop button and it stops orbiting around me. I click the follow me button again and um, so now I'm gonna you know walk down the parking lot it's a pretty good contrast it was early in the morning so I look fairly dark compared to the um, I guess the pavement I, I blend in so you can see the little selection window getting a little bit confused as soon as uh, you know I get near those parking lot lines so I'm you know watching the quad making sure it's not gonna hit one of the buildings near me and then every so often I will um, you know, use my index and thumb to select myself to make the uh, little selection window a little bit smaller, even though it's green, so it's doing a pretty good job of, um, you know, keeping track. When it changes colors like that, I think it is getting a little bit more confused. It doesn't know if that's still what it is that it's supposed to be tracking. Um, you know, this entire flight was autonomous. I didn't um, touch the sticks once. I thought it worked pretty good. You can see me raising my hand that, look, I'm not touching it. it it's following me. It's doing a really good job. Um, I was really, really impressed that this tracking feature and the orbiting feature, um, I, I've done waypoint missions with this before, really makes the um, Phantom 3 standard act more like you know a, a Phantom 4 or even the Mavic where it already has these features. Um, so before you switch on the orbit mode, you have to make sure to stop doing the follow me. And then I click the orbit mode again. It's going to fly around me going at 4 meters per second. 
Here, I'm just kind of watching it because, again, I'm, I'm amazed at, at how well it did that. And then I hit stop. Um, down at the bottom, there's the settings. I'm going to change that speed to something a little bit smaller, so I think it'll be a little bit more dramatic. So I'm, I'm going to bump it down some, hit the close, click on the orbit again, and now it's going to circle around me again but this time it's going to be at a much slower clip. The other nice thing that Leechy does is before I would always have to have some, I'd have to use Air Server or something else and record the iPad screen um, to some other device, but with the Leechy app, I was able to record the screen um, during this whole time and nothing I really needed to do. So now here I am, it's it's following me. Um, I'm not going anywhere near the parking lines. You can see that that little green box is uh, locked in pretty well. The, the sun has went up a little more. There's a little more contrast between myself and the pavement. So I'm gonna you know, walk down the parking lot. You can see the quad at the bottom right, the little line that it's following, and it did a great job of following me. Um, so again, I'm not a lychee expert. I've done several missions. Uh, the farthest I've went out is a, a little over a mile. Um, the, the quad did lose signal. The, the screen went blank. And, um, but again, it was no big deal because on, not on the tracking feature, but on the waypoint feature, it went ahead and it finished the mission. And, um, you know, as soon as it got back in range, it got back in range and, um, it was fine. So that's a really good feature. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.